I wonder what the Spaniards will make of me shouting tally bally ho once we're in Ronda. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they think they'll like, be uh, under invasion or something. We'll find out, won't we? <laughs> tally bally ho! Wee! Hey, yeah. I said hey! What's going on? See those mountains in the distance. Gosh! Better pay attention now, tractor's coming! <laughs> Tractor! Right, basically, I'm on the way to a place called Ronda, which is in the mountains, which is very pretty apparently. And uh, it's a road trip on my own because my colleague decided to drink last night and is now staying in bed. Uh, so, yeah, having a bit of a road trip. I'm going to say it's Ibiza, wow, it's a diesel, so I probably can go forever. Uh, so yeah, just uh, enjoying myself, going out to see Ronda today, 25k from Graza Lima, which is where I turn right to go to Ronda. Uh, I wonder if they can help me there. Ah ha ha ha! Then on to Cadiz. So, uh, but that's behind me, so Ronda first, and then Cadiz for sort of a high tea slash supper. Might pick my colleague up on the way, don't know. See how I feel about that, it's a bit dull. But yeah, it's a mic up a mountain. I'm wearing the uh, Triumph Raven leather jacket because it's still only well, 15 degrees outside. But uh, yeah, mic can go up a mountain, something like that. Very Indiana Jones wearing a brown leather jacket, but that's me, that's me. Anyway, toodle pip chaps, and uh, I'll keep you updated. Bye! Well, I wouldn't mind being on a motorbike on here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Great big balls! What do you think? Absolutely stunning, that's what this road's like. It's a, a proper A road. It's a bit of a squeeze. Oof! On top of a mountain. Car coming. Let's get past this cyclist. Wee. It's like a rally stage. Woohoo! Spanish rally stages are a lot like this. We must remember to drive on the right, correct side of the road, right side. Interesting enough, in Spain, the right-hand side is also the correct side, whereas in the UK, the left-hand side is the correct side. Nah! Ah! <laughs> oh, brilliant. Anyway, bye! Oh, I'm still going. This is quite fun, you know, one-handed. Woohoo! Dink. Woohoo! Yeah, those mountains are absolutely stunning. Anyway, I hope this isn't too boring. It's not on a motorbike. That's the trouble. Well, this road's great fun. It's no longer sort of rocky. We're sort of on top of a hillside. And uh, yeah, it's great. Could you imagine this on a motorbike? To be honest, I think it's bordering on too dangerous for a motorbike. It's fairly smooth, but the road is pitted in places. Um, and yeah, I think a lot of the time, someone will probably come on the wrong side of the road and knock you off, and then you're pretty much dead. Um, not a bad drop to the left here, um, but there was a bigger drop earlier. Um, but yeah, just trying to document this as I would a moto vlog. I mean, it's not exactly a motorbike, is it? It's more of a sort of car vlog. <laughs> but uh, I don't mind. Uh, so far I haven't needed to filter, so that's a good thing <laughs> for your ears anyway. Um, 
So yeah, just trying to stay on the road, stay on the black stuff. Yeah, very windy. Whee! Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, I suppose on a motorbike, maybe in a bicycle would be amazing fun, but I'd probably egg myself on, because a lot of these corners are very difficult to read, uh, how tight they are. So that's where I've come from, that's Gratha Lima. That's the pass I came through. And now, we've just driven all the way around there, down that road there. It's all very nice around here, isn't it? This is the uh, rambunctious wagon for now. Brum brum, nice little diesel. Saving loads of fuel anyway. Going up there. Now, I don't know where Ronda is. I think it might be up there. Apparently it's very picturesque. But those mountains were absolutely stunning. That's Graza Lima. Okay, we're in Ronda. I don't think it's as nice as Graza Lima. Oh well, let's have a look. We're pootling along, don't really know where to go or where to park, etc. Proper British tourist. Ah, out of my way. <laughs> bink, bink, bink. Wee. Apparently that was a roundabout. Ah, <laughs> whoops. Dunk. Well, I found this side street. Until I found this, I was quite disappointed in Ronda because it was all commercialised and modern. This is quite nice. Oh, here we go. One of the main things I remember from Spanish lessons at school, Cuce la Plata por la Intimiento. With obviously a distinctly British sound to it. But it um, means cross plaza for the town hall. <laughs> but I think I've found the bridge that everyone sort of sees in publications of Ronda. Now, this is more like it. It was all looking a bit towny until I got here. Gosh. Well, that was wholly unexpected. Just show you the other side. I believe there's a river at the bottom of there somewhere. So this is the famous... Ronda Bridge. I wonder if they did defenestration, because that would be a very good window to throw people out of. And if you don't know, defenestration is when you throw, kill people by throwing them out of windows. My wife and I found that out in Prague, because in Prague Castle there's a massive window over a massive drop. And uh, yeah, basically, nasty types who were in charge not much changes. Um, yeah, used to defenestrate. <laughs> nah. So yeah, it's quite a nice place to build a town. I wonder how old that bridge is. I, mean, I saw someone with a selfie stick, but then again, what I'm doing here is probably very similar. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Goes all the way down there. <laughs> Meh. Not that I'm being a sheep, of course. Oh, there we go. There's the bottom. Down there. Let's zoom in, shall we? And I think there's a tiny person. Well, that's not a bad little restaurant, is it? Location and all that. Oh, yes. Now, oh, that's a building. We all like buildings, don't we? Yes. Let's bore everybody about buildings. So this is Jerez now, nice little boulevard thing. 
Sunday morning, 11 o'clock, fairly closed. Nice hats. I love the way these streets just open up into great big squares. It's very pretty. Trying to walk into any trees. <laughs> Horsey. Well, because we're in Andalusia, or Andalusia, depending on how you say it, um, it's where all the horses come from, bullfighting and all that kind of stuff. It's what they pride themselves in. Still got pigeons. I think pigeons are synonymous with everywhere, really. Little bastards. Fucking flying vermin. <laughs> I mean, silly flying vermin. <laughs> This is something. <laughs> Pointing out the obvious, it's a something. Mostly landscapes. Jesus on the cross. Horses. The Holy Mother, etc. As to be expected in Spain, really. My instincts are taking me along here. I'm still trying to find the cathedral, but I knew it was in the south easterly direction, so I've been going that way. Keeping the sun on my left and all that. Certainly looking old. Walk in this square, see if I can get through the door. Probably a bit easier than the Crusaders. Oh, hang on a second. Guess what I've spotted. I think that over there looks like a cathedral. Let's move over there next. So this is the inside of that area that I was outside the walls. And it's, um, well, there's that square thing. So I think this must be the citadel. Because you've got this sort of sandy square here with a lovely old palm tree in it. So horse training ground, something like that. Reminds me a bit of horse guards, but this looks a lot older. Nice turret in the corner. Yeah, this is definitely like a citadel, isn't it? So I'm going to go with that. I'm going to say it's a citadel. <laughs> Apologies if it's not. <laughs> Probably not. Right, let's go to the cathedral. Someone like to drink by the look of things. Uh, 1812 to 1887. It's got to be the cathedral, hasn't it? This is what happens when you're on your own. You start talking utter rubbish. Wow. It's very ornate. Gosh. That's quite a frontage. It is the uh, Cathedral de San Salvador de Jerez de la Frontera. Which is pretty cool. So yeah, it's Hereth Cathedral. What's going on? 